Okay guys, today we have another package and envelope opening video. Let's just get right into it. So if you've watched my channel before, you know I am collecting all the Pokemon full art trainers and so that is most likely what I will be getting in most of these packages. If not, you probably won't see it because I'll probably cut it out. But actually, I'm almost positive these are all... But some of these are stamped, so I actually can't be sure. But, um, yeah. So you guys saw the first one was Guzma. It looked nice. But let's just get right into these. So, well, this is not good. Um, let's try the scissors. This is not going to open And this is Blue's Tactics. And it also looks nice. I don't see much problems with the card. And give me an extra code card, which I do not use. And they gave me uh, their business card is what it looks like. Okay, so I'll be completely honest here. I got a package, not this one. It was a white package in the mail. The person did not tape the package closed. Instead, they had the shipping label, which was just a piece of paper, cover it, and then just put like a tiny piece of thing here. Either way, it's in bubble wrap, so I actually couldn't see it. And I was like, okay, I'll just put it in the package I got from my last video and open it with you. But I actually can't see, like you can see the back of the Pokemon card, but from the front you can't see, so I wasn't sure. But oh my God, this person packaged it so weird. So like, I do not order a Hatterene. I kind of saw this, but I was like, okay, no, maybe I'm imagining. I didn't order this, which means they must have thrown it in for free, which is kind of nice. But I ordered Marnie. Okay, so that's what it is. And the card looks really nice. You can see the corners don't look like it has much problem. And it should be able... And it's nice that they put in a card saver one because I can submit it quite easily. So I'll talk about that toward the end of the video. So the other two are sealed, so there should be no problem. And cardboard. And they gave me a code card, which I'm not going to use. So I hope I showed the other code card. You guys can take this, use it. Don't know if someone else has already collected it. Who knows? Hopefully I showed this other one. So, Burning Shadows, this one's Champion's Path, everyone loves Champion's Path, so you guys can use those. Let's just get right into this. You can already see it says Lady here, so there's one Lady card. I have a dog, and her name is Lady, so that's kind of interesting. And also... In like a BCW card saver one kind of thing, which is nice because I can definitely use these. And this is a very nice card, and and doesn't look like it has much problems, so that's good. So last package. Let's hope the last package doesn't jinx the streak of good cards, because there's definitely a good amount of cards that I get which are not near mint, because I only buy near mint to mint cards. So, there's some which people claim it's near mint or whatever, and it's not, so. Just the card in here, and it's colorless. Oh my, this one I'm quite worried about, as a matter of fact. So, this one actually has some whitening in the bottom left corner, but this one's also how many years old? This is eight years old now, so it's very hard to find a nice one. I actually wanted to buy a uh, one BGS card. I spent forty, no, like thirty-seven dollars, and I bought this card in a Beckett eight point five. It's not the highest grade, not anything that special. But I was like, okay, I kind of want to. I bought one card from CGC. It was Blues Tactics. That Blues Tactics cost like ten dollars. 
I bought from a seller auction a CGC 9.5, I think it was 9.5, maybe it was 8.5, for $10. They paid over $10 to just get it graded. So they definitely lost money there, but um, fine with me. So that was all the cards for today, but I did want to show you guys one more thing. It's this stack I have back here. I am getting ready to send my cards to PSA. So I do not have enough card savers. I pre-ordered card savers and BCW card savers. And they're both coming in like a few months from now because everyone's ordering them. So it's really hard to get. But they said on PSA currently during the coronavirus, it says you can use top loaders to ship to them. And they recommend putting them in team bags. So that's what I'm doing. So then the cards don't come out. So you guys can see, I kind of ordered it a tiny bit. I started a few different PSA submissions, but now, now that I'm positive the cards I'm going to send off, then I'm going to start the submission again. But I'm not going to start it right now. I'm filming this video in December of 2020. Every quarter, PSA has submission specials. And so I'm going to wait till 2021 in January to see if they happen to have a Pokemon submission um submission um sale thing i kind of doubt they will just because they are making so much money off pokemon cards they, they don't need to lower the price because they're already getting enough business so i don't really think they're gonna lower the price but there's no bad part about waiting because the price should still stay at the ten dollar um if you have the membership so yeah, so if you guys like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe, and thank you all so much. Bye for now.